Hey everyone, today I have kind of a random project that I wanted to share with you all. Um, while researching the design for the uh, 3D printed screw compressor, I came across a number of articles about uh, centrifugal com turbo compressors. Um, so, in my typical fashion, I got into learning more about these compressors. Uh, I read all the graduate papers I could find and watched every video on YouTube that was out there on how to design a uh, turbo compressor wheel in CAD. Uh, but unlike the uh, issue I had with the uh, screw compressor where there is uh, little to no information about how to design them, the uh, turbo compressors actually had a, the opposite problem. Uh, there were tons of videos on how to design them and they were mostly all wrong. Uh, so I decided, you know, I wanted to learn how to design a proper compressor wheel. And, uh, but I, well, I quickly realized that uh, like the screw compressor to design a uh, complex, ultra efficient uh, wheel required, you know, very expensive software like uh, Ansys uh, Blade Master. Uh, but you can still design a few types of relatively efficient uh, turbine wheels. And I was able to find some very useful research papers to leverage uh, the necessary dimensions and angles and rakes from. So with the dimensions in hand, I uh, created a, a quick spreadsheet to kind of lay out the critical dimensions so I could get as close to modeling uh, this correctly as possible. Um, Fusion 360 is not in any way uh, meant to design these compressor wheels. Uh, I had to translate formulas and angles to get uh, fixed points in 3D space. Um, so then I could create a series of 3D sketches with a uh, subset of those points and use T-splines to actually kind of interpolate uh, between all those little uh, points. So early on, I uh, printed out a copy of the uh, unshrouded compressor kind of as a bit of uh, sculpture uh, for myself so that I could uh, see the design. Uh, but, you know, inevitably I uh, hooked it up to a motor and to my surprise, even though it was printed out of a relatively weak uh, PLA silk filament it handled uh, 20,000 RPM like a champ with uh, minimal vibration. This particular compressor is not something you'd want to use in an automotive application. It has a uh, 55 millimeter inducer, which is essentially this diameter here, and a 90 millimeter exducer. So that's really optimized for a high pressure ratio, more than it would be for volume. Uh, and you know, unless you're trying to cram 60 plus PSI in a sub one liter engine uh, with a lot of lag, uh, I, I don't think this is the wheel you want to use. Uh, my hope is this higher pressure ratio allows me to spin at something like 15,000 RPM and that this wheel would actually uh, produce some pressure. You know, I think again, you know, an over-engineered tire inflator is kind of my best case scenario. So based on my research, uh, even getting 30 PSI of pressure was most likely going to require uh, multiple stages unless I wanted to spend it at 100,000 plus RPM. Um, I was also concerned about the uh, compressor wheels exploding at 100,000 RPM and throwing shrapnel in my face. Uh, so I initially designed this uh, axial multi-stage centrifugal compressor. Uh, this is the same compressor wheel, uh, but with a shroud added. Uh, the shroud just increases the efficiency a little bit as well as uh, reduces the volume uh, output. Um, and it also allows you to add uh, labyrinth seals so that uh, you can actually seal the compressor wheels between the stages. Uh, but when I looked at uh, printing this, it was uh, several kilos of plastic because of the housing and the volutes for the intake and the exhaust and all the necessary support material. So rather than wasting um, all that plastic on something that probably wouldn't uh, work, I decided to go ahead and create a simple uh, single stage compressor. Um, so here is the uh, version one prototype. Uh, the housing is just uh, PLA silk, so it's not uh, very strong, but I don't expect it to have very much pressure. Um, and the wheel is actually made out of uh, PLA plus. I know it's a little hard to see in there, um, but I'll show some pictures of that. I have the wheel uh, directly glued to a 540 motor. Uh, I made a jig to actually glue the wheel as evenly as possible 
uh, as the clearances between the wheel and the housing are less than uh, 0.5 millimeters. Sadly, the uh, run out on this wheel was actually terrible and the bushings on the motor were already worn. Um, this is repurposed from my screw compressor. So since it was glued on, I just uh, ran the motor until the wheel uh, self-clearanced itself. So wow, does this thing actually move some air? In fact, uh, it had enough thrust to blow itself uh, right off my desk a couple times there. Uh, the plan I have is to actually run it through the same battery of tests that I ran the screw compressor through and see how this thing actually performs. At 7.2 volts, it actually fills the bag in just two and a half seconds, actually sometimes bursting the bag. So this is uh, much more promising than the uh, screw compressor, which never even managed to fill the bag after five minutes. So let's see if this thing can actually make some boost. I've uh, created this adapter, uh, which I know uh, doesn't look great, but uh, it allows me to hook it up to my air tank. Okay, so it never really produced any measurable pressure, at least not in uh, pounds per square inch. Uh, when I opened up the tank, uh, there's actually a bit of pressurized air coming out. Uh, I can hear it hissing. Unfortunately, this type of compressor is all about moving large quantities of air. So necking the outlet down from uh, two and a quarter inches or 60 millimeters down to uh, one quarter inch or uh, six and a half millimeters is uh, causing the compressor to actually choke. Um, you can actually see the amp draw drop and you can actually feel the air flow being reversed and actually coming out the inlet. So to get this to perform better, I uh, probably need better tolerances. The uh, clearances of uh, 0.5 millimeters are, are doable with 3D printing and some tweaking. Uh, another area that could be improved is the uh, rough surfaces on the blades, which create a thick uh, boundary layer and uh, decrease the efficiency of the wheel significantly. And ideally the wheel would be, you know, SLA printed and even the housing as well, uh, just to keep everything as smooth as possible. The compressor also needs to spin at a, a much higher RPM, ideally between uh, 40 and 50,000 RPM, uh, but that creates a few challenges. Uh, first, the blades of the compressor wheel are already actually uh, growing in diameter. You can actually see where the uh, compressor wheel uh, tips have actually touched the walls of the inlet and left black marks at high RPMs. Um, so the wheel needs to be printed out of something stronger or stiffer, um, such as polycarbonate or just straight PLA. Um, also, the wheel probably needs to be balanced to go to a higher RPM. I've been lucky so far. It's relatively light and close enough to being balanced, but at double the speed, you know, I'm scared that it might start to, you know, shake and you know shatter so overall this is really a fun little project to play with um, i may revisit it again uh, someday and try building this out as a multi-stage compressor to see what it can do uh, but i just wanted to share this with you guys i know it's not as in-depth of a build but uh, i thought maybe you guys would find it interesting so uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay safe out there